So hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another video about coins from Malta. I'm not too sure if I made a video on coins on Malta, I need to actually check it up. But, these are the first uh, decimal coins I actually used in Malta, so this is a whole series. Uh, before this, Malta actually used the United Kingdom Pound, and I actually never issued that many coins even after the British took Malta from the Order of Malta. And that's still around, it's a Christian order. And they used to issue coins for Malta in the school door. Uh, equals 12 tari, one taro equals 20 gani, one gani equals 6 picioli. That's just uh, some history there for you. And those coins are actually quite nice. Very beautiful they are. And they have issued uh, modern coins from, what date is it, 1960, uh, 1962 to 1988, as far as I know, they still lay claim to Malta, but Malta is a democratically elected government, so they're not actually going to become a ruler there again. But anyway, we have some coins on Malta, so these were first introduced in 1972, except for the 25 cent, uh, that was introduced in... If you look on the other side, 1975. So I've included a 20 cent coin from Australia because it's pretty much the same. Oh, it is the same size as the old Florin coin, and the 10 cent is the shilling. So for the size comparison, a Florin coin became a 10 cent, and a 5 cent was a shilling. So pretty much the same conversion as the United Kingdom. And the two cents, pretty much, uh, probably a similar size to a Frippens coin. And all the other denominations are actually brand new. Now, as you see up the top, they actually issued a two, three and five mil coin. Actually, the two probably should have been a one. And these are aluminium coins, they're very light. Um, because the mintage of the two mil was only 30,000 and the three mil's not known, but it's probably most likely the same. Uh, I doubt it very much. These are actually circulated widely in the United Kingdom, uh, in Malta. But if we look on this side, it has a beautiful pattern. It has a honeycomb and it has, oops, has, looks like dolphins on the side. So it's actually a nice coin. Okay, so now where was I before the wife interrupted me? Okay, the two has the cross of Malta. So the order of Malta, that's the actual cross. As you can see the dolphins on it. Uh, the five. And this one has a lampstand. So it looks like it's a more of an abstract lampstand. Maybe it's a, a from the prehistorical time, so that's before we actually have written accounts of history. And there's a lot of monuments on Malta that actually demonstrate this. And I don't think that's a Malta thing, I think it's a type of fish. Yes, but I'm not too sure what type of fish it is. So this one had a mintage of 4 million uh, 32, for, uh, 320,000. So this one would have circulated, as you can tell by uh, all the damage. Uh, especially on the side of the actual coin and a lot of scratches so that was a circulating coin the lowest and only bronze coin was this uh, one cent coin so this one had a mintage of 5.65 million and as you can see it has um, uh, grape that's it a grape vine so grape is a vine it's a crawling vine and that's what the leaves look like and one cent, so this is more of a traditional style of coin that they probably would have done in the early 1900s. And this one's 972, and it has the St. George's Cross that Malta actually got uh, during the Second World War for gallantry. The whole country, or the whole island, got a cross uh, from the British government, and that's actually on the current flag as it is. So the smallest coin is the two cent so as you can see two cents and when i actually uh 
resize these coins the two cent actually remain the same size and it's the only coin I actually did and this one has um, Penfacilla Queen of the Amazonas so as you can see she has a uh, Cor Corinthian helmet well, it looks like a stylized Corinthian helmet and her parents were Ares and Otraria and she was killed by Achilles during the Trojan War you know that war criminal and uh, yeah so this celebrates Greek history which our Malta is very entwined with even though it's not really mentioned by the Greeks but because the, ew, the Greeks would have uh, probably settled there during the ancient time as well so that's 1972 that 5.6 million and the other coin is a 1977 and this one had um, two million two hundred and uh, fifty thousand coins minted. Oh no, six million. Nah, sorry, I got my um, got my uh, writing mixed up. So it's six million a hundred and five thousand for 1977. And 1976 had one million, so that's actually the one to get. As you can see, this is rated. So the coin that actually replaced the shilling is the five cents, and as you can see, they all have uh, the grapes going around. And on this side, it has part of Maltese history. So this coin had a mintage of 4,180,000. And this is a ritual altered Hagar Quim. So it's Hagar Quim Temple, I think it's about 4,000 years old, so it's quite an old coin. And for on a, quite an old monument on a coin. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted here. And the other one I have is a 1976, so this one only had a mixture of a million, so this is actually a bit harder coin to actually get. Uh, but generally, it... It doesn't really change the price if it's um, now four, five million to one million. Yeah, these cost probably about four to five dollars each. You know, in high grade. Yeah, all of these coins up into the five cent, you can probably pick up in these grades for about, oh, probably about two to three dollars each. Uh, the ten cent, probably about three or four dollars each. Um, the twenty-five and the fifty cent. You're probably looking at probably five to ten dollars per coin because they're a lot harder to get. A lot of these would have been changed over, and uh, the mintages probably a few thousand exist, or a few hundred thousand. So the ten cent. So this is a one-year type. It's only ten million six hundred eighty thousand. So not really a rare coin. Um, and on the back we have some. Old sailing ships, I'm not too sure what type they are, but they looks like they do have the flag, London flag there. So, but I'm not too sure about the rest of these flags because I'm not into sailing, it's just why I am, am not. And this coin actually replaced the Florence, only two shillings issued in the United Kingdom. So in 1975, to plug the difference between the 10 and 50 cent, they actually issued a 25 cent. As you can see, it has um, eight sides. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, it's made of brass, so different from the other coins. And it's this shape to separate it from uh, the 10 and 50 cent. Uh, this coin had a mintage of 4,750,000. And on the other side we just have the coat of arms of the uh, bank of malta so republica ta malta in maltese and if you don't know what maltese is it's actually a well, it was a form of arabic that's been heavily influenced by italian and well there will be a lot of uh, spoken differences as well and here we have a maltese boat a lazoo uh, a flag we have a Oputia plant, so there. We have a pitchfork and a shovel, shovel or an oar, shovel, I would say. And that was actually 
that coin is. So this coin probably set you back between five and ten dollars. Good. I, I don't. There's some on the market, but they're just a bit expensive. Those coins. And the last coin in the highest value coin. This is also one year type, so 1972, 5.5 million coins. Uh, probably about five to ten dollars. This coin you'll be looking for. It's a uh, 32.95 millimeters and 13.6 grams. And if we look on the back, it has the Great Siege Monument. So, um, if you're not too familiar with Malta's history during the Second World War, uh, the Germans and the Italians actually bombed Malta. And it, it, Malta was sort of um, segregated because of the Italian fleet. Until, uh, I think, 1943 when uh, Italy swapped sides. That's why you don't have the Italians fighting on your side. So we have two females on the side, and I presume this is Malta in the middle. So Mother England and Malta and on the flag. So you've got the English cross there. So I hope that actually gets you familiar with Maltese coins. It's actually quite a nice coin set. And it actually took me a while to actually get because um, unless you get a circulator set or proof set, which I actually have, I'll show that later, uh, you, you'll be buying all these coins individually or maybe you might buy two or three together. But that's just the way it goes. So thank you very much. I'll leave a link down to Monty's coins on eBay if you're interested in buying any. And uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have an awesome coin collecting time. Thank you and bye-bye.